What's going on about this Afro think tank? Today I want to talk about poverty. I want to talk about poverty, right? And how us Africans have a, a opportunity to, you know, pull ourselves out of poverty and live a different life, a more relaxing life. And let me explain. What I've noticed, but before I do that, I'm a, I'm a, you know, I gotta fill, I gotta fill some things in. What I've noticed, even in Washington D.C., I'm starting to see more and more homeless people just everywhere, and it's noticeable. You can literally measure it. You can see it, right? It's like something that you can you can see some today and then measure it next week and notice that there's even more, even more, right? Just like you got uh, in California, you got that that uh, that that uh, what they, I forgot what they call it, right? But it's the place where all the homeless people, you know, you know where they stay. And the thing is, with homeless people. Usually what happens when you're down and out, you do drugs and usually that homelessness and all that stuff comes with the drugs, right? I'm seeing the same thing here. And even though you may not be seeing it on uh, on YouTube or whatever, because a lot of people like to make, they like to equate the homeless and drug epidemic with democratic policies. But honestly, it's happening in Republican uh, states and, and cities too, right? It's happening everywhere, right? Everywhere. It's not a Democrat or Republican thing. It's the it's the it's the capitalistic thing. It's the Western capitalistic way of living. Remember, hustle, money, money, money. Get money, get money. Everything's too expensive. Our kids can't even go get apartments. When I was young, you better get out of high school, go get a job. You can get a little apartment, right? You can live. Kids can't even do that now. Like you can't. You get out of you get out of college. You already owe a hundred thousand dollars, right? You want an apartment? You gotta pay eighteen hundred dollars a month for a box, right? And y'all know the houses in in America is made of a, a, a plywood, a, a cardboard boxes, and they charging you four, five, six, seven, eight hundred thousand dollars for a house, right? Right. So, and then everybody's struggling. Like you see the videos on TikTok, everybody's starting to figure out that hey, man, we're all struggling, right? Everybody's struggling, black, white, Asian, everybody, everybody's struggling under this capitalistic system because we're slaves. I keep trying to tell y'all that nobody, people don't want to, they don't want to accept it that. You're a slave. Just because you went to college, got a degree, make $100,000 a year, you're still a slave. Right? Because you you only make enough to survive and continue to work for the people who are enslaving you. Right? But so let me let me draw this picture for you. So we see how poverty happens in, in America and in, in the UK and in the white Western capitalistic societies. This is, th this is their government. This is their entity, their creation. Right? And everybody tells how capitalism is so great. It's only great for those who already had a leg up before it got started. It's only great for those who were already rich, who already took advantage of the imperialistic systems that came, that was there before that, of authoritarian systems that came before that, that already had stuffed their coffers already. And now capitalism is great because they can take advantage of it, right? It's a form of slavery. It's slavery. That's what it is. Just look at the evolution. It went from the slaves to the Indians to the Mexicans, all right? to everybody we're all slaves just something we just call different things right but let me give you a, a different picture of what us africans have we just so happens what's going on brother we just so happen to have a continent full of land and opportunity right and we have a continent that we don't have to necessarily work worry about um we don't have to necessarily worry about the white power structure directly affecting us individually even though it's still there but as you can see slowly but surely well actually I'm not even gonna say slowly we are detaching immediately right so we have a continent of Africans peace we know they're peaceful you know our brothers and sisters over there they're pretty peaceful right great weather right we, don't have, we wouldn't have to deal with winter and here's the difference you see because of the disruption of our society and because of what the Europeans did by sucking up sucking up our resources and displacing us and and doing all these things right to benefit themselves the, 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 down, the, the downfall for them is the system that we live in is a system of credit, right? Credit, and nobody owns nothing, like, so you may be a homeowner, but you don't really own it. Because if you don't pay your taxes, even if you pay the house off, the government can still take it. Or some corporation can some take it. Eminent domain, some big corporation that want to build something on top of your land can come and take it, right? They'll figure it out. Corporations do anything. Corporations are buying up all the houses and everything, right? So we're all effectively being closed in made to more we're being we're being reined in so we can be more effective slaves for the corporations but you see in africa you can buy yourself take a couple thousand dollars right go buy yourself some land right just buy yourself a couple it ain't gotta be nothing spectacular you ain't got about a thousand they go 
Go take a couple thousand dollars, go buy yourself a couple acres. Right? Right? Think about this. Buy a couple acres. Right? Build a house. Take fifty, take a hundred thousand dollars, right? Go get a loan instead of take instead of coming here, instead of uh spending three, four, five hundred thousand dollars on a cardboard box, go over there, take a hundred thousand, hundred fifty thousand, go build yourself an, a house made of concrete that's gonna be there, that's gonna be insulated, that's gonna be better for the environment, right? And then what you do is you take some of that land, right? And you just spend a couple hundred dollars after you buy it and just get it planted. You got plenty of farmers out there who will plant your land for a couple hundred dollars. Think about it, what do you even go to work for? What's the point of going to work, really? You go to work, get a paycheck so you can feed yourself and house yourself, right? Feed yourself, house yourself, buy a few amenities so you can have yourself a good time, right? Well, the people in Africa, you know, the ones that we consider poor, you see these guys, even though they're poor, they own their houses. They don't pay taxes on their houses. They not paying mortgages. They own their houses. Okay? I'm talking about people who you consider poor. They ain't got they ain't got twenty dollars in their pocket. But they own a compound made of concrete. A whole house. They got land and it's planted with food. Right? They don't have to worry about eat some not everybody. There, I mean there's some extremes, right? But for the most part, society, these people, they, they, eating's not gonna be a problem. Plus they're communal, so people will share there you you're not gonna not eat people are gonna feed you right so think about it you take a couple good years right find a place in Africa that that you feel comfortable it doesn't have to be you know I'm pushing for Nigeria that's why I'm for I'm laser focused on Nigeria but hell man go to any part of Africa any part of Africa that you feel comfortable in go get your a step go go get yourself a piece of land that belongs to you that when you own it you actually own it Meaning no one's going to be able to take it from you. You own it, you own what's underneath it. Build yourself a nice house. You can build yourself your dream house for the price of a of, uh, 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 2023 freaking F-150. Like for the price of these vehicles, you can go buy yourself, build yourself a massive house the way you want it. With a big giant concrete fence around it. Not these little flimsy little uh, fences that don't actually stop anything, right? You can build yourself something amazing that you never thought that you could own for for um, for for little very little money that when you build it it's yours it's there that means no monthly recurring mortgages no monthly no monthly taxes right so no mortgage no taxes so i mean you ain't got to worry about that so once you build it you don't have to worry about that right then what's the next thing you got to worry about food like i said get some local villagers pay them a couple hundred dollars they will plant they will come out there and take you don't got grocery store you ain't gotta go to the grocery store you, ain't gotta go. you, you can, i mean you can go to the grocery store but for minimal items you can have all your organic you can be as organic as you want they still got real real food over there they got seeds they got the real fruits and vegetables in africa that have been tainted by the european power structures they got real fruits and vegetables you can have your you can have endless amounts of food just growing for you you don't got to do nothing you don't have to do anything a couple hundred dollars you got all your food and think about it, it's no winter. The growing season is like you can grow all year round in Africa. So you ain't got to deal with the winter where you you can only you know grow in the spring. Over here in America, we can only grow in a certain parts of the year. Over there, you can grow all year round. And then shit, you go to the market, get you some damn chickens. Get you go go buy go take a couple hundred dollars and get like twenty chickens and just throw them in your compound. You ain't even got to take care of them for real. They take care of themselves. You know, just throw some throw your leftover food after you finish making out there. Throw your leftover food. Right, so now you got housing, no reoccurring monthly mortgage. Then you got you got your food, right? So you ain't got to really worry about eating. You got your chickens and stuff. You that means you got fresh eggs every day. I know a lot of you guys don't know, but chickens actually they produce eggs even if they're not like copulating. They just do it, right? The only time you you uh you get ch eggs with chickens in them is when they do copulate, and then you take the eggs and you incubate them, right? But for the most part, you can wake up and have fresh eggs every morning fresh eggs and you know where they came from right and you want to eat chicken you can eat chicken right get yourself some goats throw them in there like i'm telling and if you want to go and if you want to go to the grocery store in africa you can go to the grocery store but it'll be very minimal you wouldn't have because you'll already have most the majority of your stuff set right then what else do you need power right solar power i got a 700 dollars solar power set up in my in my compound in nigeria 700 dollars You'd be surprised. 
uh, how much power you actually use. And when you find out how much power you actually need to enjoy yourself, to wash your TV, to wash your clothes, or refrigerate, you, you will realize that we're being scammed every month in this country. And we're getting vastly overcharged for electricity. When you can set up your own, even the people that put the solar panels on their houses in America are being scammed. Because they, they say, oh, we'll set it up for free. Yeah, but guess what? You got a, a second, damn near a second mortgage on that damn solar panel on the top of your house that you can't get rid of. And that the government is actually making more money taking this shit from you. They're benefiting. You kind of benefiting, but they're benefiting, right? But over there in Africa, you buy your shit up front, get a couple solar panels slapped on top of your house. Guess what? It's free. I got free power in my house. Free. Listen, free. No mortgage. So there's no mortgage, no taxes, no electric bill. I can go buy a propane tank for, for gas and fuel. I can get a stove put in and you can do it like that. No problem. You get all the American amenities. You can build your house to your American standard over there. No problems. Have everything you want for really minimum costs, right? Shit, you could take your vehicle you got over here, take it over there. Guess what? Your insurance is not going to cost you three, four, five hundred dollars a month. I, think it, I, I got a car over there and I got insurance on it. It cost me a few, few hundred dollars for the year. All right, that came with the tags and all that stuff. I'm like, well, damn, sweet. Okay, so I'm saying, and, and we have rights to these places. We are Africans, so we have a place we can escape to. While the West, do you see the Western world changing anytime soon? Do you see the white Western world changing from this form of capitalism? No. What's going to happen is we're going to be crushed the same way Rome was crushed because Rome did exactly the same thing. And that's why they were crushed. They, they imploded from the inside because society, as they get stressed out, as society becomes more desperate, society starts to do more things, more criminality happens, more drugs. And so eventually it be, we come to a, a point where it collapses. And if you don't think it's going to happen, it can happen and it will happen. It happens to every great nation. You know, it's just that some people don't learn the lessons of the past and they think, oh, this is going to last forever. You think this is going to last forever. Egypt didn't even last forever. All of the great nations that we built in Africa didn't last forever. Nothing, nothing lasts forever. Change is the only thing that's forever. All right. And we have to think about the change that we need to, <laughs> we need to take, but we need to change. We need to start changing and we have an opportunity to do so. Europeans are running to Africa. Shit. They understand. They run into Mexico trying to do the same shit. They're tired of this shit too. Man, them European Americans are tired of this shit. All right? They're tired of this shit. They're on YouTube talking about that shit too. They're trying to get out this capitalistic system. Right? So, and we got the best place in the world to do it. We got to, we could just, all we got to do is go home, literally. We just got to go home. Set our shit up. Go back and forth. Take a trip. Find a place. Build, buy, buy some land. Come back. Take your ass back to work here. Go back there. Build some shit. When it's done, guess what? Move. Retire. Even if you just want to finish and do 20 years at your job and you want to just retire at 50, 55, guess what? By the time you do that, you'll have a whole compound. You'll have your food production ready. You'll have a neighborhood, a community that will be looking out for you. You'll be set. You can literally relax and enjoy the rest of your life. That's what I'm trying to have you guys do. That's what I'm going to do. So I can bust my ass now. I'm here, right? I can bust my ass here, but I know that my future is secured because I secured it. That's what I want you guys. Go secure it because you'll live a fabulous, fantastic life being average in Africa versus trying to hustle, hustle, hustle and be a man in six figures, six figures in America. And you stress out. You have a heart attack. You have an anxiety. We have strokes and, and everybody got cancer and diabetes because of food we forced to eat. We ain't got no choice, right? <laughs> I mean... There, there, we have a choice though, right? It just takes a little courage, right? A little courage, you know, and a little little effort to just go over there and see it. I promise you, you take a trip, you take your first trip, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. You're like, oh, damn, this is it. You know what I'm saying? So I want you guys to think about that. You know, times has gotten hard and it's just going to get harder. We just got started. And once these robots come, half, about 40% of these jobs are about to be gone. 40% of these jobs are about to be gone right just know it because corporations are in the business of making money and the new slave is going to be a robot the new slave is the ai system they don't need you no more they don't have to deal with your shit they don't have to deal with your ass calling off they ain't got to deal with your ass talking about you want to go on vacation they ain't got to deal with your ass talking about you want to get off work on time no the robot gonna work 24 hours seven days a week no days off no benefits no nothing if i was a corporation of course i would hold a robot the ai robot over you 
because I want to make money. And that's what corporations do, make money, all right? So I'm just saying, guys, Africa, there's a reason why we're saying, listen, I don't want you guys to wait five, 10 years before you decide to take the first trip. And then by the time you take the first trip, you're going to go over there, you're going to see a bunch of people like me who've been over there for about 10, 20 years. You know, the prices of everything going to go up by then, but everything going to be bought and you're going to be, you're going to be in the back of the line trying to pick, get the scraps. You're going to be left behind. A lot of you African people here are going to be left behind because you think that this country is going to do something different for you, from you, for you that it hasn't done. This country doesn't care about anybody. So it's not going to care about your black ass ever. Doesn't matter. That's the nature of this beast. That's the nature of the capitalistic system. It's never going to care about you. It will tell you it cares about you, right? But it's never actually going to care about you. And as soon as we wake up and figure it out and then make the necessary moves to take our asses back home and, and try to get a semblance of peace on this planet and get a piece of the thing that's owed to us to get our birthright, which is peace healthy eating healthy living and tranquility right all you have to do is take this american money over there and do it you got to use this american money and do it right and if you get in a, if you're a veteran and you're getting and you 100 disabled if you're a black veteran you 100 disabled get your ass over there you got money you can live off your disability and you ain't got to never work you ain't got to never do nothing and you won't be a burden on society because you got your own money coming in and you could do a whole bunch of amazing things if you are a regular civilian and you want you got your disability check take your ass over there use that disability truck and leverage yourself over there in africa i know some i know african-american right now that's in nigeria right now living off his damn social security check he young young dude black guy got a wife got some kids he live in abuja living it up never came back to america He's not exactly legal, but no one's checking. You can't tell and nobody cares. You know, if he ever tried to leave Nigeria, he might have an issue. I I'm pretty sure he's gonna have an issue, but he doesn't plan on leaving Nigeria because he's happy, he doesn't care, right? So, all well, do it right, do it, don't do that. Do it the correct way, okay? Do it the correct way, <laughs> all right? But anyway, I just got, want you guys to think about it. Start YouTube in some of these countries, see these countries where you think you can live at. Now. For you people that need, you know, medical and this and that, there are, make sure you take that in consideration. There are, you want to make sure that you're close to a good hospital. There are good hospitals in Africa. There's good hospitals in Nigeria that have all the technology and all the bells and whistles that we have in America. All right. You'd be the same damn doctor too. Funny part. Same doctor you have at John Hopkins University. Same doctor you got at Holy Cross. Same doctors at Washington Hospital Center. The same doctors that, the same African doctors that you see. Guess what? They got practices over there. <laughs> I mean, you be the same doctors, all right? They went to the same schools. A lot of them doctors over there in Africa, they went to the same schools here. You know, you ain't missing out on nothing. You just gotta make sure you, you know, you just just find and pick the one that's good. That's all you gotta do. You gotta make sure you do your research. You know, and thing is, and when you go over there, you'll be eating healthy, you'll live healthy. You won't even have as many problems to need to be going to the hospital to be having all these issues in the first place, all right? Because you won't be consuming endless amounts of uh, sugar and processed foods. You'll be eating real natural foods. Your, your body will go back to a state of, 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 of calm, a state of balance, okay? So anyway, uh, that's all I got to say for now, guys. This is Afro Think Tank. Learn something, teach something. I'm out.